Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at all of these um, seekers. So uh, initially I, I wasn't going to get all these, uh, I was only going to get Starscream, but uh, after messing with Starscream a little bit, I really, really like the articulation and the style of these uh, figures. Uh, even though they aren't exactly G1-ish looking, but uh, I find them very, very attractive. Um, well built so I decided to get the rest of them uh, even though I got the DX09 um, Thundercracker and uh, Skywarp and uh, Starscream ended up uh, getting all of these as well so here I have uh, Thundercracker and here's Skywarp and then uh, back here I have uh, Starscream and then also the other three Seekers so let's uh, get them all out and uh, show you guys what they look like so here they all are, and uh, so let's start off with uh, Starscream here. Uh, we have here we have Starscream, and uh, he comes with the translucent body and also uh, coronation pieces, uh, the cape, shoulder pads, and then an extra head with the crown on. And then he also comes with uh, the Megatron gun and a translucent base. Uh, the translucent base also, uh, translucent base also uh, comes with um, uh, well, um, figure that comes with that translucent base is uh, it's, um, a Skywarp and uh, Thundercracker. I mean, yeah, Thundercracker. And then uh, each of these also comes with an extra body parts to for you to finish off uh, Starscream, the a uh, Ghost Starscream. And also, um, um, what is this guy's name? For you to finish off uh, Sunstorm here. And um, this figure, uh, Skywarp, comes with uh, a pair of hands for the Ghost Starscream and also the legs of uh, Sunstorm. And then Thundercracker comes with uh, a pair of legs for Ghost Starscream and uh, arms for Sunstorm. And if you pick up the uh, cone head set, then you get the torso and the head and the wings of uh, Sunstorm here. And uh, here we have a uh, ramjet. Um, I believe that's uh, thrust and then dirge. I think dirge. Yeah. So so yeah. Um, so here they are. Again, ramjet, uh, thrust, and dirge. Then, um, so here are all the Seekers that are out there. Oh wait, actually there's another one, Acid Rain. Uh, that's a uh, com uh, convention exclusive which I ordered and it's coming in hopefully sometime this coming week. But, uh, yeah, here are all the Seekers. So let's get a closer look at them individually. Uh, first, start off, let's start off with uh, Starscreams. And uh, here is the color version, Starscream. Let's see if I get it really close so you guys can see the sculpt of this uh, figure here. It's really nice and uh, it's painted with a metallic red, which is nice. I like that a lot. Then uh, as far as articulation, it's really, really impressive. For something this small, his, uh, this thing is uh, very highly articulated. Uh, you can see all the all the ball joints uh, except for the arms. They are on a hinge, and uh, the weapons are pegged onto the arms. And then you can see the ball joint right there on the shoulder. And same with the head. And uh, I really like that expression, a little smirk from Starscream. It's nice, and uh, I am actually a fan of uh, the wings back here. Let's see if I can uh, zoom out a little bit. And uh, here you can see the wings are actually attached using ball joints, so uh, you could actually flip these wings back if you so choose to. All right, so here's the base. I'm not sure whether I got this uh, connected properly or not, but uh, here there's the V-shaped base uh, with the arm arm right there, and then another attachment for the arm. And there's a peg. You can peg it on the back of Starscream. And here you can see the wings. Um, again, they are on a ball joint, so you could actually throw them back a little bit. Uh, so with this way, uh, it won't impede with the articulation uh, when it comes to. Um, giving Starscream some 
dynamic poses like where he's shooting off uh, his uh, weapons. Kind of neat. And uh, here you can see the other arm. Well, the fact that it's on a ball joint, you can rotate whichever way you want. And uh, he looks uh, quite nice. And he is currently floating. This is awesome. Then uh, let's take a look at the Ghost Starscream here. Um, nothing really special, it's basically the exact same mold, um, just using translucent plastic. I do like that they added this as a uh, freebie. Well, I guess you're 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 already paying for it uh, because uh, the set, the Star Scream set, is a little higher than uh, regular figures, so you're paying for the parts to build uh, go Star Scream together. <laughs> and here's the back side of uh, Ghost Star Scream. And next up, we'll take a look at the cone heads. Um, let's see, they aren't all exactly the same, uh, unlike the Starscream and uh, Thundercracker and uh, Skywarp and and Sunstorm. Uh, those are all exactly the same mold, but uh, these three cone heads are actually a bit different. So let's get a closer look at them. Got them in the uh, got them in the pose. Uh, Pretty nice looking pose. Here's one of them. Majority of the parts are the same, but uh, as far as the wings, uh, the placement of them are a little bit different. And on the back side, you can see Ramjet's wings are definitely different. Uh, you've got two little ones. Uh, on on the back side and then uh, there are two big ones uh, attached to the legs and here's a uh, thrust this is actually my favorite of the three cone heads really like the red and here you see I, I flipped the wings back uh, because of that ball joint I actually like it this way a little more. And here you can see it comes with the little wings attached to the legs. And there are two big ones attached attached to the back side. And here's Sturge. And he too got little wings attached to the back side. And uh, bigger ones attached to the legs. The blue is actually lighter than uh, Thundercracker. See, the blue is definitely different. I like the color combination he has. Um, that gold color with the blue and the, and the gray. Well, almost black. And here's the back side. And here are the other three. Um, Skywarp, uh, Sunstorm, and Thundercracker. So, let's take a look at all three of them together. Not a whole lot. Uh, there's actually no difference between this and the uh, Starscream. So it's just a color change, but that is a nice color scheme. Here's the other one, here's the freebie. I think they were selling this guy by itself too, uh, and I believe it was another convention exclusive or something. <laughs> And I'm showing you guys as these are as uh, these are like new figures, but uh, they came out quite a while back, I believe. But uh, it's just that I 
just started uh, collecting these, so that's why they're new to me. But they're awesome, awesome looking figures. The plastic is nice, uh, hard plastic. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, it feels uh, very solid, like the Hasbro. Uh, no, kind of like the Black Series. I mean, uh, the Masterpiece type of plastic. Uh, not like um, not like some of the other other Hasbro Transformer uh, plastic. They're kind of softer. Uh, like the uh, Devastator, uh, I believe Devastator uses some of the plastic are a little softer, but these are like super hard plastic. All right, so since uh, they're all pretty much exactly the same, I'm just gonna transform one of them so you guys could uh, at least see the vehicle mode of this uh, of these uh, seekers. And uh, here I have Thundercracker, and um, I must say uh, after transforming this uh, vehicle. Um, the transformation is very, uh, very simple, and uh, and it's not as refined as the DX09. How they are transformed. Um, here you can see the the top section is nice. I mean, you can see the top part is nice. If you look at them from top, yeah, the jet mode is nice. But uh, once you look at look at this thing from the bottom. Uh, you can see the bodies there, the arms are just sitting on the side there and the legs, I mean the legs, yeah, you kind of figure it's gonna be like that but uh, with the DX9 they are actually tugged in quite nicely but uh, with these uh, iron factories uh, the arms are just out to the side and that's it which is kind of disappointing and then uh, the chest piece you kind of see just dangling there Here's one last look um, at the jet closer look at it from the top I mean, it's decent for what it is uh, but uh, price wise it's not that cheap uh, these things gonna set you back uh, currently I think they're still like 35 uh, 30 35 38 somewhere around there and uh, they are not cheap for something that's small and uh, but still it's a really nice um, nice looking vehicle and uh, nice uh, a nicer looking uh, robot mode like these yeah um, vehicle mode yeah not the greatest but again these are these are by iron factory and uh, they are not exactly g1 accurate and as far as uh, articulation uh, head is on a ball joint and uh, shoulders are also on a ball joint and then uh, hinge elbows swivel wrist and uh, once you get to the lower part, uh, the waist. The waist is actually has a swivel joint, and then ball jointed hips, and then there's also uh, thighs, thighs articulation, uh, swivel, and then the hinge knees, and then the ankle has a, a rocker. And here I got one of them holding on to the Megatron gun, which comes with uh, Starscream. It's an accessory for Starscream. It's uh, a Skywarp holding it. There it is, right there. So yeah, there you have it. There's the um, Seeker set, uh, Seeker collection I have so far. And um, yeah, again, these aren't cheap. Uh, they cost about thirty. I think 35, 38, somewhere around there. Got them at a um, uh, couple of places actually, two. Uh, BBTS and uh, TF Source. Uh, those are the only two places I found them. Well, actually, I think I bought one set off uh, eBay. Not quite sure. I think. Yeah, I think uh, Thundercracker was off eBay. And I think uh, Skywolf was also off eBay. And then the rest of them are from uh, uh, BBTS and uh, TF Source. So there you have it, uh, the Seekers from Iron Factory. Thanks for watching.